welcome back to Tester Tuesday. I just tweeted that I'm gonna go to the Murad all-inclusive spa and asked if you'd like me to do a Tester Tuesday and a bunch of you guys said yes, so I'm gonna do it. I know you guys really like seeing my skincare treatments and services that I've been trying out. I've actually been to the Murad all-inclusive spa before and I really, really enjoyed it. It really helped with some of the issues I was having with my skin, which was incredible incredible dryness, dehydration, and sensitivity, so they really got my skin back under control. And I'm happy to be back here because I could definitely use a little detoxing and scrubbing of the skin and cleaning out the pores, so I will be filming everything. I'll obviously cut some things out, but yeah, so let's go get a facial. <laughs> Once I disrobe and get under the covers, we discuss my current skincare concerns and when I went to visit the Murad inclusive spa today, I had a lot of congestion and a lot of blackheads. My skin was just very, very dirty and clogged. So we started off by removing my eye makeup and then she takes a look at my skin and kind of analyze really what's been going on. And she's just wiping off the first layer of makeup with a gentle cleanser. She's actually using one of the cleansers I use at home, which is the Redness Relief Soothing Gel Cleanser. And you can see that she's massaging everything and getting a facial isn't just about a really good deep clean and treatments, but also about stimulating the collagen and massaging your facial muscles and the skin and all that stuff it really helps with circulation and again like collagen reproduction and just lifting of the skin So after looking at my skin under the microscope and under the light, I have a lot of congestions and breakouts along the chin and a little bit of dryness around my face. So she is going in with the intensive wrinkle treatment. This has salicylic acid. It's really going to help get rid of a lot of the congestion and a lot of the surface congestion as well as exfoliate. This is very tingly, but I actually really enjoy it. And you can see that she's just applying it and the steam is still blowing on my face. Face, which is going to continue to help open up my pores then she's giving me a nice arm massage and putting my hands in a paraffin wax treatment it's very nice very relaxing about the last little relaxing bit before the extractions begin and then she's removing the intensive wrinkle treatment which has been tingling on my face and this is a warm towel and she's just making sure all of the acid is removed and it also helps exfoliate and it's like a triple cleanse at this point because she did do a double cleanse earlier on. Now, you guys really wanted to see how the extraction process works, and this is a traditional facial in the sense of all facials I've had. This is where we go in and really just, she goes in with gauze and her hands and really gets rid of all the blackheads, all the whiteheads, Everything that is in my pores, she's taking the time to really get out because that's what I requested. It's not comfortable. It is not the most pleasant experience, but it is the most rewarding experience. Your skin will look completely cleared and the breakouts that were 
bound to happen actually clear up quicker so there's a couple spots like around my chin and on my left cheek that I was going to have a major major breakout but she was able to kind of extract it to minimize the redness and the puffiness and the angriness so I did have a little bit of redness after this extraction session but it was definitely worth it are you okay? <laughs> a little hot. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. I told you I want them out. <laughs> yes. It's good. She's then going in with the microcurrent and she's using the red light, which is antibacterial. This avoids spreading of any bacteria, especially after an extraction. It's I'm then getting a really nice neck and head massage. This is very relaxing. I definitely need a facial massage and a neck massage and a scalp massage, especially since I spend a lot of my days at the desk. And it's just like a nice moment to kind of be like, okay, extractions are over. It's all smooth sailing from here on out. Next up, she's just cleansing off my skin and then applying a cooling mask. This is a really, really relaxing and refreshing mask. It cools, it calms the redness, and it just feels really, really nice. So we leave that on for a few minutes and then she comes back and takes it off with a warm towel. Finishing off the facial, I am getting some hydrating toner spritzed on me, which I missed in the editing, and then, of course, some hydrodynamic moisturizer for my dry skin. And I really loved this facial because it really cleaned out my pores, and it's exactly what I needed. And, of course, she's applying a little lip balm. Okay, guys, so I just finished. It was very relaxing and wonderful. I do have some irritation from the extractions, but that is completely normal in a traditional facial to really clean out the pores and get rid of those blackheads and any breakouts. So you can see she did a lot of extractions around my nose, which is my blackhead area. And I had a really bad one here. I saw it this morning and on my chin. This will go away within like a few hours, if not like the longest is usually the next morning. I'm good. So very, very happy. My skin looks really bright and fresh. So I'm very happy with this. So I'm in the car now and I just want to do my like final thoughts, final kind of review and wrap up of this video. But this was more a, of a traditional facial. This is the type of facial I used to get every four to six weeks when I was a teenager all the way into my early 20s because I had breakouts and congestion where I typically do which is my t-zone and my chin especially around that time of the month I would always break out around my chin and around my hairline and that just is due to congestion and black pores and black pores black heads in my pores and that is something that tends to happen a lot so the extractions are not comfortable it's not pleasant but it is my favorite thing to have done because it's something that I can't do myself at home and you really cannot replace a licensed esthetician to go in there and just extract all of that gunk all of those blackheads and a lot of people go how do I get rid of blackheads there's chemicals there's stuff out there that can kind of prevent them and kind of minimize them but in reality if you have a lot of blackheads I really feel like a licensed esthetician is the way to do it and that's how I had really good skin all through high school into college because I really would see an esthetician not just for the relaxing and cleaning of my skin but really to get into those and extract everything it minimized breakouts it minimized gross gruddy looking skin and I think it's why even now my skin for the most part stays pretty healthy is because when I had those hormonal problems I really kept it at bay and under control so what you saw today was very much a traditional situation in terms of in terms of a facial where you go in you cleanse your face and they assess your skin and then they apply some sort of exfoliant or treatment to really give your skin what it needs to very much be brighter and cleaner and then they go in with extractions and then they do a soothing situation so with me they did the microcurrent which is 
the one I use after extractions is antibacterial so it keeps bacteria at bay it also soothes a little bit of the redness from the extractions and it prevents like bacteria from spreading and then I had a cooling mask which was really really nice I really love that cooling mask and then she applied a little bit of like t uh, anti wrinkle control stuff so you look Look, a traditional facial, you're gonna look a little bruised. This is not something you should do before a big event. It's something you should do maybe two to three weeks before a big event. When I was getting ready for my wedding, I got a facial every four weeks, but at, uh, the one right before my wedding, we didn't do any extractions or very minimal because it was my wedding day coming up. It was the week of my wedding, but because I was doing extractions and really keeping my skin really hydrated and healthy and clean and clear, we didn't need to do much. It was just more of a relaxing situation, getting rid of anything else. So I really recommend seeing a licensed esthetician wherever you are. I really enjoy the Murad All-Inclusive Day Spa and you can come visit them yourself. They take appointments. If you're located in El Segundo, Manhattan Beach, South Bay area, that is where their main office is. And I highly recommend getting a facial and I just had an amazing time. So thank you Murad for for letting me film because I know it's a little awkward and thank you for letting um thanks thanks for letting the weirdo with the camera and a tripod come to your spa and film everything so if you have any questions leave them in the comment section I do my best to answer them if you've had a facial I would love to know your experience with your facials and where you got it in the comment section I think it's a great place for us to learn from each other and help each other out let me know your skin type as well I have very combination skin dryness around my face and then very oily on my t-zone plus a lot of congestion with blackheads so and I do break out around my chin around that time of the month so if you have anything you'd like to add I would love to hear them in the comment section it's a great place for us to build that community if you're new to my channel my name is Serene and my channel is called dress yourself happy because I hope my videos motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best so you can go out into the world and feel confident and beautiful and if anything I hope I entertained you for a few minutes out of your day because I know watching YouTube videos helps me sleep and just like decompress for my day so I hope I was able to do that for you if you haven't subscribed yet I'd really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button down below this video on an app or mobile device as well as underneath this video when you're watching on a desktop or laptop you can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down and let me know if you liked it or did not like it and I upload videos every Tuesday Friday and Sunday and I hope to see you back on Friday bye